the Russian army or the rail nexus. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go with the one with the gives me forts. Let's see how Africa's doing. Oh yeah, we started losing in Africa. I blame the Soviets. It's mostly just a stalemate. They're just looking at each other now. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Fuck that Churchill ass bastard. <laughs> Making the life hard. Now's the time to attack. Move, man, move. I got soft attack plus 10%. Or 20%. Let me actually big him, big him, big him. I sent in three divisions from Africa that fucking Germany gave me as an expeditionary force to get to the capital of Lithuania. <laughs> We might be able to knock them out. Are you telling me? Uh, Germany planned to annex all of this. <laughs> Fuck. You know what's really funny? I might get a great majority of this. You get a great majority of what? The Soviet Union if we win. Well, my war participation is much higher than yours, so we'll see. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Well, but... the people who are going to get the most looks like uh, it Germany first, and then Italy, then me. But my war participation is going way up. Yeah, your bombing is helping a lot. I can't bomb though because fucking. And his name is John C. Wait for the Soviet. I'm doing two to one casualties on the Soviets. Well, actually, no. As a force, we're actually losing very hard to the Soviets. Well, you did 77k and 192k. That's not bad. 77k. I lost. 71k to the Soviets. 77k and you've lost 71, so like, you're kind of trading one for one with the Soviets. Not really. It's about to be 80k. And I lost still 71k. So, uh, not exactly one for one. 1.1 1 .1 to something. Sweet Conquest in Stellaris. How, how'd you do, Jirai, huh? Just fucking, just, what, what were you doing? Genocides or... They're purging. Hey, we're almost at Vittenbisk.
Pushing them back. We can almost encircle them. Encircle them where? At, uh, in the strategic overview with Crimea. We can probably cut them off at Crimea. I don't know. What we have to do is push them back to when we get to Romania. Then maybe we could call in Romania. And that's like if a we whole... we could take out this rebellion, do you know how many divisions we'd get on the front line? About like 10, 20. Eight just from me. So yeah, eight. So 10, 20. Yeah, last time I played Stellaris, I vividly remember me genociding, genocidal Geico people. Geico Lizard, yes. We actually might outnumber them a little bit, in a way. Crazy. Romania has canceled their lend lease act with me. Understandable. Fucking bastards. Yeah, I like Stellaris. All I'm saying is, Gangster, you had a lot better position because. I was I sandwiched. Grab those positions. Uh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You just yes, the starting I made war. New divisions. The starting war, yes, you had to do. That was done. But as soon as you did that, you were in the clear for the rest of the entire game. You could have stayed neutral the whole time. Like, and and then you're free to build up all the factories you want. What the time I spent while you were doing that was all fortifications, all factories as well. Most of it fortifications, though. A lot of fortifications. You could visibly see all the time I spent while you were doing that shit. You know how many of those fortifications I had to take back from the Russians? Not that many. Far, far too many. Hey, you see no, that no, gap no, no, no. What? What'd you? Hole in the center, fill it. It'll be filled. You've assaulted maybe like five of like the twenty forts I've built. We're gonna encircle these three. We're gonna encircle all these divisions. They're like seven, eight divisions. I need you to like rush as much as you can. Punch, punch through. My center arm. Dumbass rebellion. 
Oh, really? It's quite co inconvenient to me, though. Considering it took away a lot of factories. At my prime, I had like 30 something fucking sieves. Are you profiting in oil? No, I am by far losing out on oil. Jesus Christ. Ace pilot promoted. Nice. Here's 13k oil. Don't waste it. You know what? Let me give some to fucking Germany as well. I don't think Germany needs oil. They could always use oil. I mean, couldn't we all dog? Hey, I'm about to make another hole. I need you to fill it with as much infantry. You don't need to fucking tell me. Hey, the, the fucking game does it by itself. All right. Unless I can do it. If I can't. Right back to where we started, actually, I think. Yeah, literally getting to where we started. There's there's that old fort that we lost, like, hella long ago. Make another offensive in the north. Yeah, yeah. Let me try rebuilding this fort immediately. Give us more supply lines. You say that like it'll be done immediately. It can't. Make more railroads. Work on it. Work on it. All right. Let me just stop importing the resources to build guns and let me focus on these oh so Don't railroads. Stop importing the damn guns. Don't be stupid. Oh, I guess I can't make the hole. But what I can do is just start encircling. They're in circle, they're gonna get wiped out. Do they even have any tanks? Oh, they do. 200,000. Oh, I'm gonna run out, run out of manpower soon. Ah, uh, yes, I've been out of manpower for majority of the last decade, probably. Last half decade. Five years, no manpower. He's still bragging about his big army. You know how many nations I had to conquer for this army? Yourself and one. I conquered one, two, three, four. You conquered Portugal and that was it. Oh, actually that's five. Five plus the civil war, if you count that. It was a civil war in Portugal. What what else was it other than that? It was you gonna a civil talk war and then Portugal. Yeah, yeah, and then what? You basically spawned with the ability to field a large army. I spawned with the ability to be partitioned. I had to go against history. Meanwhile, you're on the side of history. Jack shit happened to Spain besides the civil war. Yo, Papa Germany is going to Finland, and they are moving a, a lot of divisions to stop them. Yep. 
Pretty sure if we completely capitulate them, they'll flip to fascism. They'll join the Axis. That's a lot of Soviets in Finland. That is a lot of Soviets in Finland. Well, be specific, I have three. Two. My bad. Everything fell to me, stupid. With my manpower and your oil. Yes, and my infrastructure and railroads and fortifications. Oh shit, I got raided for fucking, uh, or hosted. Fluorescent. Hey, let's go. Fuck about five viewers, that's dope as shit. Welcome everybody. Let me, let me, let me see this guy, let me see this guy. Oh, I just realized my face game is, I'm pretty sure they could read unlike you. Um, no. <laughs> I definitely cannot read, that is a fact. Yes, sir. Let me investigate this person. My tank division is still in fucking Italy. That's not the person. Not bad. Thank you, sir. I think he might have been streaming 40k. Or maybe not. I don't know. I think I might have found him. Hmm. What the fuck is that, actually? Oh, German rank. Oh, shit. They're attacking Greece as well. Navally. Can Germany even win that? They're getting encircled. Encircled where? Too many Soviets. They're going to take us from the north. They're going to encircle me in the north. Oh, I thought the Maybe. north was all you. I thought you had it, bro. I do have it. You see how I'm pushing them back? Oh, yes. Let me just turn off Almost the face cam for now. Turn it back on when 40. it fixes itself. Romania is pushing them in fucking hard though in the south. South. I love the name. Legionary I've got Romania. Three different like techs for the air experience. In this war. Word. Shit's great. I've never exercised these planes before in my life. Oh, Germany just landed hella more divisions. No wonder why we're getting kinda... Kinda wishy-washy on the front lines. Yeah, and I'm not crossing that river, by the way. 
I'm gonna create a protrusion. Check the stream and you can see my battle plan. Because for some reason I can't you can't see mine. Wait, press up. Press the period button. Holy shit, I just see all the yeah. battle plans now. I don't see the battle plans. And look in the bottom right and then press the two arrows. Or press period. Once. Damn. Nice. I just hope that fucking Japan doesn't Pearl Harbor this shit. Hold uh, on. 41, they will. God damn it. Dude, let me just check something. Damn it, Germany, you befriended fucking Japan. Hmm. Interesting focus tree. I just want fucking bitch ass. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that helps so much. Soviets. That's a huge deal. That's just the most bombed out fucking infrastructure railroads I've ever seen in my life. I haven't been strategically bombing, only tactically. I'm pretty sure that hit the infrastructure anyways, Mr. Hypocrite. Oh, you bombed Bulgaria's infrastructure! Killed their supply. Yeah, I was so upset when you bombed Bulgaria's infrastructure. I want you to know that probably helped you win. Honest to God, it did not. Oh yeah, then why did when I, when I took off tactical or strategic bombing, whichever one it is, then you grinded to a halt. Yeah, I ran out of oil. Ah, it's I ran out of supplies, I didn't run out of oil. I had plenty of oil, I just didn't get it to him. No, I don't think so. All right, I've been attacked me from over a river. Fools. There's so much damage railway railways. I love when it hits about noon. I get the, the tactical support that I need. Oh wait, they capitulated. Nice. Who did? The uh, the AI. I'm gotta move my divisions back.
When did the German Reich get control of Palestine? I don't know. Fucking weirdos. They also have Malta. What the fuck? This, this fucking angry mustache man taking everyone's conquest. Uh, it's going. I'm officially out of manpower. Congrats, now you're in my boat. So... Man, I just need a little bit more political power for women in the workforce. <laughs> I can get a fucking focus that literally gets any of uh, our states that are occupied, our factories and infrastructure will be sabotaged. <laughs> Polizzi. Man, the winter is going to fuck us, isn't it?
I am like the only Axis power whose fucking personal territory, core territory, is under threat. Except for Romania. Me and Romania are the ones out here. Gangster, are you putting anything on the on the new Spain land in Eastern Europe? No. I have no manpower. Oh. No, I'm talking about building anything, construction-wise. Yes. Uh, civilian factories, military factories. So I can get equipment. Oh, you didn't think about uh, uh, railroads or any of that, no? No. Bitch about me not building railroads, yet you don't do I'll it yourself. An artillery, support equipment, and infantry equipment, light tanks, trucks. Manpower could her. There's a badass Red Army bomber. Just chill. Oh, it got shot down. God, I wish I didn't disband the Polish Air Force by accident. Manpower is gone that I can never get back again. Oh, you get the manpower back. Yeah, but it went straight to the military and they can't get it back. Soon. Hey, my war score is catching up. Either that or Germany's is rising as well as Italy's surpassing us. Uh, Germany has less divisions, has more war score. Well, it was crazy. No, mine is ballooning. 14%. I'm gonna overtake Italy. I think Italy's just lagging behind. Holy shit, I've taken 216k casualties, pretty much all from the Soviet Union. Half of the Soviet Union's casualties come directly from Spain. Yeah. You're fighting the most and longest. I'm doing most of the fighting. It's in your territory, not mine, and I'm doing most of the fighting. Well... If you weren't here, I probably would have done the same at my forts. Already capitulated, you'd be communist. Got it. You know, you're talking a lot of shit. Am I wrong? No. Well, yeah, you are wrong. So you're saying with, um... Chances are I probably would have held out the forts long enough for Germany to come in and... It'll be a very st stupidly long fight. You don't understand how strong that would those lines would be. River crossing plus forts all the way. Just look just look at around Warsaw. Look at that area of forts. The river from Warsaw just spreading outwards got forts near it. Oh yeah, you'd be encircled. No, I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't get an uh, encirclement diva. Give up your navy. Germany would have to. I don't have a navy. Yeah, I mean your ports. You give up your ports. Germany would. That have doesn't to matter. A lot of weight in that fight. Doesn't matter. That's a point. I would inflict heavy casualties though. Damn, there's a naval invasion in fucking Ireland, and that's bad. Cause they have nothing there. In Ireland? I don't see it. You're dumb. There's one division of 
Britain just going oh, to... Yeah, it's one division in the sea, so yeah, they're probably going to capture Ireland, finally. Yeah, last time that happened, the Germany sent some shit there, and then they stopped them. They can't really do that this time. They're manpower deficient. Actually, let me check what the Soviets' approximate manpower is. A million. They have a million left. How are you able to see that? Uh, Germany is 1.7, Soviets are like a million. Oh right, the war screen. No, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, diplomacy screen. Let's click them. I don't see it. a hole in the center. Mm. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, Soviet is 600k to 944k manpower. It's not a million. Somewhere in between those. It was a million, and now it's now it's not. Well, yeah. Me, I shit. I used to have half a million. Now I'm down to like fucking 300k. Fielded. Total manpower, I have 208k. Every time we expand into the Soviet Union, your borders increase. Mine do not, and I'm sh I'm shedding all the blood for it. Oh, do you want it then? Do you want all this border? I'll take the Soviet Union, yeah. Uh, eh, I can't really reinforce it, but... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. T take this, and then go ahead and build all the fucking shit there. Well, you get the land. Well, actually, no, you fucker. You're now, getting so it. It's... You're getting it. You're, you're talking shit, so you're getting it. As soon as I figure out how to give it to you. It's yours, bitch. As soon as I figure out how to give it to you. <laughs> well. Alright, here's the northern part, you bitch. Take it. There's the Minsk you were talking about. What Minsk? God, you're stupid. Set the... Whatever. I'm not taking that. I don't care what it is. I'm making them retreat. I'm punching a hole. The Soviets can't stop me. I'm getting to Smolensk. Yo, I might be able to encircle a massive amount. Like, if I could clamp down in the center and cut off the south entirely, that would be amazing. But I don't see it happening. I'm pushing to Smolensk. I'm pushing to Kiev. Tank has finally gotten into Poland. There's like pretty much no fighting around your ports. Why would there be? On this big open plain. Oh man. So much blood to shed. You know what, I'm going to take these three units and I'm going to send them all straight on the path to Moscow. See what happens. Of course that won't capitulate them. Or will it? 
No, it shouldn't. Probably not, but it'll do a damn good job of getting on the way. You know what? Do you think you could stage a coup all the way in Siberia? Or actually... You can. I need to get women in the workforce. I got some manpower from where? Oh, I think one of my colonies started to like me. My occupied territories. Well, uh, yeah. Belarus. As soon as I get women in the workplace, this whole war changes. Damn, he has approximately 850k left. He is bleeding. Czechoslovakia is going to rebel eventually. Again? No, they are the one. They're the only ones that haven't rebelled. You fucking idiot. Can you hold nothing? No, I can't hold shit. I have no manpower. So no, there's no garrison, and there's no defensive armies. Unless you want me to pull like. 12 divisions off the front lines. If there's any divisions that you... Ah, I don't know. No That's good what I for fucking you. thought. I'm fighting the Russians in Smolensk. What a dumbass fucking advertisement. This is some gay shit. Come on, cavalry. Prove you're worth your weight in gold. Fucking dumbass cavalry tactics. I hate it so much. Hey, I'm punching holes in them. Every time my cavalry hits them, I, I, I look at the lines, I move the cavalry, and I just smack them. I just use a fuckload of cavalry. The winged hussars, dog. When they get takes, the strategy's over. But... Now it's good. We made it to the other side of the river. Dude, this is becoming December. It's gonna be winter. It's Fear. Winter. Yeah, yeah, I know. I see it. Oh, it's bad. It's just not good. Can you hear the voices too? Fucking psychotic. What the fuck did you say? I'm forcing the Soviets to move a lot of their front lines off of Estonia and Latvia and such. The Germans have they've just blockaded all the ports. They've been bogged down in Finland. That's great, they just opened another front. Got a lot of Russian. Yeah, that still front. spreads us then. I don't know if um Yeah, I guess that helps. There's Smolensk! There's Smolensk! You know what the next major city is? Rezev or Moscow. I could probably take Moscow. Be 
bring back so many divisions. They keep sending in whatever they can send in, and it's just getting shot to shit. Okay, um... Latvia. Okay, fuck you, martial law. Twenty seven days, my damage for my ship should increase. For cavalry, motorized, mechanized, Amtraks and leg. Which reminds me, I should get half tracks. Holy shit, I think I'm out of circle like fucking don't know how many divisions that is. 30. So dumb. And we took Babens. Army group 6 is doing great. What the fuck this? Oh, I know what they do. By the way, I suggest we wait here until the winter ends. Uh, well, uh, not help there. Me get Smolensk. Help me get Smolensk. Smolensk, Smolensk is Smolensk. taken. We're just gonna hold it. Help me hold Smolensk. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm punching another hole. Don't punch across river. Stop. Stop, please. I'm punching another hole. You really ought to stop going across the river at least. But I see what you mean. I'm going across there. Just, just send, just send everything in with my arm, sixth army. Big in, big in, big in. Try and knock back these damn Soviets. Listen, I'll garrison them, but. The front lines in the north didn't move all that much. God, Army Group Six, you're amazing. The south, mainly held by JJ. Oh, well, there's only one army there. We we fell back. I might build some radars on the border. I could build shit in your fucking country? You gotta be kidding me. Almost have women in the workforce. I could build shit in your country, what the fuck? Can you build infrastructure? <laughs> God damn you. You know, I really- Just build rails! Just build rails! Just, and not my country, just build- Actually, we have a pretty decent rail system. Like, can you build guns? I need fucking guns. Please, help me build guns. How about this? Since you have the manpower, I'm gonna give you an air force. Since I I have 55 dudes. Oh, and now I have zero. Oh right, right, right. That's too late.
Here's 10k fuel. And, um... The Air Force, I think... The Air Force and the bunker is the only thing that's stopping the Soviets in the south, so... Did they actually take over that air base? What air base? Oh, no, they didn't. The one in Lawau. Lawau. Thank God, some fuel. I've had to start importing it because you don't make enough. I'm not making any. I just went down to three days fuel. Holy shit. Twenty seventh of January, we're gonna get a no, a new Axis member when when I coup Cyprus. The Soviets are falling back. Oh my shit! Wait, are you serious? Were there industrial bases so I can cut it off? I don't fucking know. I need intel for that. All of it is a mystery, a mystery mark, a mystery question mark. Literally doesn't tell me. Why would it tell? I need one more political power. Why does not get women in the workforce? And then I'll have enough manpower to do this. military plans. They're all stupid. Oh my god. Mine are pretty good. Well, they're as good as I can do. They have an armor officer trying to defend places. I've been streaming for five hours. I gotta stop this eventually. <laughs> when we bring back Korean Cowboy, he's gonna come back to a competent Vichy France. He's gonna be like, whoa, I do stuff now. I have 26 yeah, divisions. Fucking. Dude, there's half the divisions I do. Holy shit. That's something. Dead ass. Army 6's war goals are like almost entirely complete. Oh my god. Oh my god. Women in the workforce. Yes, please. 9,000 more men. Let's see how long they last. Mosur is going to get captured, and then that air base will be ours. Salience. Every time I push up, they have to retreat and then they get pushed back even further. Like, the reason why we had won the attack over the river is because they had to move a lot of forces back. But that's why I'm not fighting over rivers, I'm fighting around them. Yeah. I think I'm doing. I'll try my best. Exactly the same. What do you mean? You better not be fighting over rivers, that's dumb strat. That's gonna get I'm you killed. Not. We took Smolensk, I have to, like, retreat my everything, really. Alright, so air superiority in some places, it's not good. Hey, did we take back a piece, or did we, oh yeah, we took back a piece. Thanks, Papa Germany. No 
military youth and women in the workforce at the same time. Move down to war economy after this to get some. I've been in war economy. I went up to full inscription. Fucking shit. Well, I w I'm past war economy. I'm at a. Uh, uh, what am I gonna say? Um, I'm at total mobilization. Oh no, I was at total mobilization. My bad. I fucking forgot. I want to move back down to war economy to get more men fighting. But then you'll lose women in the workforce. Will I? I yeah. You. Like that. Well, that's it. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. was unavoidable you dip shit nationalist spain i've taken a quarter million casualties i don't have enough manpower to reinforce my men some of these men they just don't See how much estimated manpower they have left. 932,000. Fuck, their estimated manpower went up. They must have also done some fuckery. I just need to increase infrastructure. Maybe that'll bump up my fucking population and shit. The Soviets are... No, the Germans are at extensive conscription and war economy. They're not even full power yet. I'm essentially full power... And still weaker than Germany. Yeah, and still weaker than Germany. My infrastructure isn't as good. Like, let's don't get it twisted. My everything isn't as good. But I'm still oh shit! They pushed strong. us back on one of our flanks, one of our fronts. Fuck! Mm. But they stopped right oh, there. Bullshit! Italy's done. I've almost surpassed them in war participation. Every set buzzer will be ours soon. You know what? Let's just stop importing shit. It's not like I have the manpower to reinforce them. Are you gonna have to eventually capitulate when you have no army? Yeah, probably. They maybe put it on very careful assaults. Yeah, that's what I'll do now. Twenty-five thousand manpower. That's what I like to see. Let's go. I got more manpower. Let's go.
I've been building up a fucking rebellion in Cyprus for fucking too long. This shit better pay off. Hello, Evolt... Evoltheon. I think wow. that's how you pronounce that. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Thank you for the follow. Very kind, very kind. Romania is putting in work. Hmm. Romania's killed 31k. Holy shit. How are you? Um, it's alright. Uh, this game is, uh, it's, could be better. Poland. Still alive, though. I'll give it that. Very much not dead. By now, I would be partitioned. And by now, I'm only under threat from uh, the Soviet Union. But... JJ got us into a war with the Soviet Union in the winter. You're the one who joined the Axis after France fell, and your ass was going to join the Allies, and then you pussied out and joined the I Axis. I was going to join whoever was the most immediate winner. Yeah. Old boy Korean cowboy, I thought he would have had a better chance. He did not. Yeah, he got fucking wrecked faster than the AI does with Brad. You know what I just realized? If, if when or if Jackal gets on and picks up the Soviet Union, either we're going to get clapped or we're going to get a comeback. Oh, we're going to clap him. Yeah. Hey, yo, Fallon just Poland. Remember when I told you we're going to Moscow? Yeah, and? I'm going to Moscow. If you could somehow get that, sure. Doesn't end the war, though. Unless you're lucky, I don't know. I'm happy that the war gets over. Czechoslovakia's existence. When they rebel, it's gonna fuck us. It, it, they just did rebel. I regret trying to help fucking Italy and fucking France. Absolutely no say so in this war. What when it if it's over? When it's
it's over, Germany gets number one pick. I get number two pick. Three. Italy gets number three pick. That's not how it is. Italy gets number two. You get number three. I get number four. Because you have 16. Italy has 19. Theirs is increasing. The Soviets are approaching a million casualties. Most of them inflicted by Hold on. me and the Germans. Hey, Siri, how many casualties did the Soviet Union suffer in World War II? About 10 million. On it. Here's an answer from LumenLearning.com. The Soviet Union lost around 27 million people during the war, including 8.7 million military and 19 million... Just gotta kill 8.7 million of them. No worries. Are you telling me I'm going to have to chew through about 9 million more Soviets? That's not how math works. I'm talking about 7 million more. Unless somehow, some way. The horses just aren't fast enough to punch holes in the line, but the, the tanks will be. <laughs> All right. If I had tanks, man, this war would have been bad. Shit. Just assignment of this army group. Hope for the best. Let me see the oil. They stopped us at the river crossing. Well, I don't plan to advance past the river crossing, so yes, of course they stopped us at the river crossing. My men aren't moving yeah, past they, the river crossing. It was a free tile, and I was about to take it, and the AI, uh, they reinforced it pretty heavy. Incorporate the rest of that bitch ass fake Puerto Rico, Czechoslovakia. Fuck, why does it look like Puerto Rico? Goddamn. This is some World War One shit, dog. I have no idea what you're talking about. This is way further than in World War One. Do you think by any chance that uh, Germany should have annexed Denmark? Because that they got like nine, maybe like fifteens factories you know what start justifying on Denmark <laughs> no we don't need to get another front I think we do The Ursus. 
You know what? War in, in, in an, oh my god, Africa is just... It's being left to the Italians, and the Italians can't do shit. Well, the Germans and Vichy France are there. There's just been no, little to no expansion. Try taking half of your garrison from Spain and sending it down Africa. Nah. A third. The garrison in Spain is needed for the naval invasion. You have like 20. That's Well, that's probably fine. Alright, if I go down this focus tree correctly, uh, I will get four Polish units in Lublin and Pluck. A new king. I'm punching another hole, dog. What the fuck? If I get better at this game, I could probably go down the other fucking focus trees and shit. Man, my face cam's fucking up. Where? What encirclement? Look at the center. In the north. It's free land. Free at last. Free at last. I am building infrastructure in Africa for the allies we have in hopes that they get stronger. <laughs> nice. Oh, dude. How about I build infrastructure in your land and you use it correctly? Yeah, that's what I'll do. No one's going to attack your land, so it's probably best to build it there. Cavalry division slipped by him, and now they're on the way. They're on the way to get in circle, dog. Dude, there's just so much repairing that needs to be done. It's so dumb.
Oh, I figured out what button I clicked to turn on the fucking day-night shit. Okay, there we go. There's so many railways just spreading out from Moscow. It almost looks like your land in the north hasn't moved at all. But it probably did a little bit. Moved quite a lot actually, probably. But holy shit is Poland just yeeting itself towards Moscow. With the help of Germany and Spain. And Poland's purchasing of fucking oil. How the fuck do you have you been killing so many people? What the fuck have you been doing? Just cavalry? So dumb. Yeah, when the tanks make it to Moscow, we'll be laughing then. Who knows? I don't care. Just upgrading various shit. And you keep pushing shit, like, where I don't want to go, and now I have to fucking defend it. After this rebellion, I'm peeling off 12 divisions to put to guard my fucking territory. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just keep it on fucking Soviet Union just to kill them faster. Just got a new doctrine for land. Do you shit? Do you have your shit on uh, careful or is it aggressive? Yeah, my thing is on careful. I don't really attack with the infantry unless I know they can win, and so I keep my generals like that. But the generals that have the aggressive units, like the tanks, fuck yeah, dude. Aggro all the way.
Dude, the attack of the t heavy tanks are so ass when it's terrain and night. It's almost 100%. How do you keep your shit under control? Is it just all military governor, or what do you do? What? What do you do to keep your shit under control? Um... I don't... Oh, I know what it is. My garrisons aren't completely... This garrison is at 0% efficiency. force up to support the main forces in Smolensk. Then move it to My uh will fucking die if I do, so I can't really. Well, then do it then. Split split the air force then. You know what would be nice is if we were able to peace treaty the Soviet Union. But at the same time, if we do and they come back, we might be fucked. You know what? What's their infrastructure in the Soviet Union look like? Ass everywhere almost. If we just take all the good infrastructure parts, though, we'll be good. Mostly Ukraine, wow. And there's this part here that's just got a sudden spike. I'd love to redeploy my troops from the south to the north. They closed the pocket I made, God damn it.
soon I might capitulate yeah, to Yeah, I almost overtook Italy in war participation. It just took me far more casualties to do so. The Soviets themselves have almost taken a million casualties. I know. We've almost inflicted two million casualties on our enemies with the allies of Comatern combined. Fuck. Oh my god, the deeper we push into Russian territory, the shittier it gets. Um. Would you mind building some infrastructure so we can we can keep pushing through the center? This shit is not looking fire. Looks fine to me. It's not the infrastructure, it's the railroads. Which are non existent. Or no, that's not it. Well the supplies on the front line are just well, I mean railroad time. Or supply. We need more supply on the front line. about as deep as I can push. <laughs> Is Romania actually winning their little war they have against the Soviets? Oh, yeah. They're helping a lot. Oh, you realize just now? Romania is doing fucking great, dog. I know. But they've taken a lot of reinforcements which we could use elsewhere. Reinforcement? What? You mean Italy, Vichy, France, and Germany? Yeah, yeah. I guess you could say that. I swear, whenever I fucking, whenever I see these guys, they're all, my tanks, they're always, like, getting countered by terrain and night. Like, it's the only reason the checks last so damn long against my tanks. So as soon as I stopped on the offensive, pretty much in the north, south, as soon as I just stopped the offensives everywhere except the center.
fuck. I'm just looking at the Maginot line that they overcame. There's so many forts. Empire declared war on the United Kingdom. The British Empire to join the German Reich. What? Well, it seems my coup in uh, the Cyprus did not do exactly what I thought it was going to do. Interesting. What happened? Well. Oh yeah, they just spawned a bunch of armies. Spawned four divisions on a single island. And they have a navy. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, they have a decent navy too. What the fuck? Well, I just made the new British Empire stronger. <laughs> hey, JJ, can you build some more railroads from Smolensk to, like, Kaluga, where that little, uh, that little sailing is? You could build them. Did you know that you could build them, motherfucker, if you really need them? You could build them as well. You forget that I'm retarded. <sighs> this guy. I mean, you could build me guns as well, but I mean... Sure, here. I'd have some... Guns. Have some... You do realize it's civ factories instead of military! All the cavalry is at about to break through going to Smolensk where my battle line is drawn 24 divisions of army 6 going to Moscow well that's your decision not mine yeah I'm trying to win my decision
How does the U.S. think of me? Not much. Not not good at all, really. They have air superiority. Do something. Do something with an air force you have that I don't. Why the fuck is Hungary not fucking fascist? God damn it. What the fuck are those things? The Reich scroll. Oh my gosh. Jesus fuck.
Why can't I get these guys to move? It's uh questionable. I drew a bunch of fucking weird ass battle plans. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the construction's doing. So I think building it. A bunch of weird ass battle plans. <laughs> I want to see how Finland's going. Finland's been at what it was like for the for a long ass time. Holy shit! There's fucking other people there. Australian fighters in Finland. Oh, sh shit. Uh, soon we're gonna have to deal with the states. Well, um, you don't. Fuck. You don't know that. I think. Ah, oh, it's too late. late to become democratic and defect <laughs> to the American winning side oh shit the UK is, is fucking coming in hard just realized they naval landed by my coasts I'm pushing to Moscow. You do that. I am as well, actually. Slowly but surely, yeah. If we knock Moscow out, well, I don't know what happens. I think it relocates to somewhere else. Maybe, like, shit, I don't know. Where is Stalingrad? Let me, let me look at that up. Can you connect the Smolensk Railways to... The railways that lead to Just that do it busy. yourself. I literally am busy doing other things. I need your help. And don't you have more factories than me? I am diverting. I'm about to take all of my my factories and convert them to fucking military factories. Why? You don't even you have, have a man. No power. idea. Why would you do that? I am desperate for guns and tanks and trucks and support equipment and artillery, especially artillery. You need tanks, you say? What? 
I said, do you need tanks? Yes. You have tanks? Here's 20% of my monthly production of heavy tanks. I don't need heavy tanks, I need light tanks. Fine, I'll give you 20% of my production of light tanks. Am I producing light tanks? I am. Not. Mm -hmm. Because of my fucking conflict, my fucking amount of factories has been going up and down the whole time. Marshal law them so I get more guys on the front line. You know what? Who should I give oil to? You know what? Romania. Uh, I'm actually gaining oil somehow. I am too. It's because I'm importing more than I'm spending. Which, you know what, I just reminded myself, the British Empire still exists. Oh my god, they're taking land. <laughs> the British Union of Fascists. Yep, they're just uh, doing their thing. Cyprus is no longer in Britain's hands. Can't stage a coup either. What do they take with them? Are, th are those carriers? There's no way. Two destroyers, I think. Those, those are three. Are those three carriers? No way. A submarine, cruise. Submarine, cruiser, destroy. That shape does not look like a battleship. It might be a battle cruiser or battleship or cruiser, but holy shit, it's. Those are some big ships that the British Empire just took from the British Empire. I think I should try landing forces in Ireland. Try to put the fascists back in charge. <laughs> Would be funny. The undefended fort just really screwed me, didn't it? Naval land it with naval land it right there. Proud of you. They'll move it to Stalingrad, though. They'll move to Stalingrad? Yeah, the capital, to Stalingrad. You mean Leningrad? Stalingrad. It's right there. Alright, look of. Alright, look where we 
Ukraine center is and then just go left and then look for a big red dot and then you see Stalingrad. I force them to move more divisions north. Well, I'm going to have to pull some divisions west because uh, 13 you 13 divisions to 10, they're holding, eh, they have 10, I have 13. Damn, Poland is gonna be massive. I've almost overtaken Italy in war participation. And the Soviets have surpassed a million casualties. Let me just, uh... Damn. I'm, like, putting in jack shit <laughs> in kills-wise. Like, even Romania is getting hella kills. Well, then again, Romania came in late when they were weak and hit them from behind, so that was a little cheaty. I don't care, though. Dead Soviet either way. Call me, mother... Fucker. Uh, fucking Norway giving Australia weapons, you bastards. We gotta take out Norway. Pinning down my cavalry. It's not my fault. So annoying. The Soviets are fighting even harder near Moscow. That's kind of what they do. That's well, why would they not? <laughs>
the biggest of Polands. Fucking best Poland! Best Poland, yes! The Poland to rule them all. Draw lines along the river. I haven't got any major encirclements due to lack of armor. But damn, have I penetrated deep. And you thought this was going to be bad. Look at my army group six. Look at your casualties, bitch. Of course it was bad. Just not that bad. Could be worse, maybe. You were like, oh my god, we have to fall back to the defenses. Well, wouldn't have been a bad idea. Look at the Soviets' casualties 1.2 million. Let's check on how Africa's doing. Uh, pretty bad. Wait, how bad? Oh shit, you're Italy's right. about to get encircled. Three divisions. Oh fuck, I see it. Uh oh. Without, uh, big boy Where Papa Germany that? there. Hey. What the Italians? Okay. Oh, you just noticed the lend lease. What did I give you? I forgot. Oh, I thank God. I swear, you've been at that river this whole time, but I'm glad you stay there because it's probably for the best. What do you mean, what? Probably for the best that you don't assault through that river, and instead we swing from the center to encircle those guys that you're keeping at the river. And if they retreat, just cross. You don't, you don't see it? Hold on. I'm trying to get to Moscow. I'm trying to do it with minimal river action. It's so hard to encircle our forces because, like, you can only get off little encirclements, really. Well, yeah, you can't do... Can't do like shit that had happened in real life. That shit is just fucking miraculous, damn near. Damn, I'm pushing over the river in the north. They have to weaken their forces so heavily in the north that now I can just easily take them. If I cut them off in the north, they're so done. They've moved so many divisions to the center to try and slow me down. But uh, they can't slow me down. Because you are a fucking gamer man, I don't know. How's my focus tree? Alright, as soon as I get that shit, it'll be great. I still am proud of me getting a fucking Nicosia. I mean, uh, Cyprus to get, to give up some shit, you know? Alright, alright, do me a favor. Can you get, can you ask uh, Vichy France for Chad or Cameroon and then give it to the British Empire? No, right click Vichy France, hover over ask for control of state, click it, and then click Cameroon or Chad. And then if they if you could get one at a time, then get one, one of the two, and then right click the British Empire, the fascist one that's on our side, 
that's near it, Africa and Cyprus, and then give them control of that land. So that way... I'll do that if you link the Smolensk Railroad Network... You're not gonna fucking blackmail me, gangster. I'm, I'm asking you that... I'm asking you that uh, because I can't do it. They won't let me because I have too much... Oh my god. You gotta be the dumbest fucking partner to work with in this game, I swear. Such a pain in the ass. Timbuktu, but it's spelled wrong. Why the fuck do you exist? Sent nine divisions from the front to the freaking coastline by Poland. Fucking crushed them. Oh, damn these Canadians. Why they gotta put up a fight like that, you bastards. Oh, what's up, Carmbeer? Hold on, I gotta like... Go to Canada. Fuck Canada. Alright, those bastards are trying to land in Poland and liber liberate, uh, you know what? Is there something about the Holocaust and Hearts of Iron 4 by any chance? I don't know. Don't matter. I'll be right back. I'm gonna let my dog out or in or whatever. Hold on. What up? Nah, L. Disrespect from JJ. <laughs> Justice against the hate JJ brings. Shut up, Carver. Canadian bastard. Alright, you're biased. You're biased. Who knows? Maybe Canada wants some freedom. They want some fascism, you know? I'll eat your ass, buddy. Don't test me. That's very homosexual. I don't like that at all. Welcome to the Axis, Bulgaria. <laughs> you joined in Honestly, late. Who would even want to fucking join the Axis? At this point? Literally everyone in Europe that isn't already a part of the We've Axis. Bled for almost two million soldiers. And Com listen, look. The Allies listen. Have bled for almost three. All right, I want you to press F10 and look at the map. It looks pretty good. Axis. World unification. Except for Switzerland. Neutral bastards. I'm gonna look that shit. Dude, Carveer. Some homosexual shit. I do not condone. Upon me. Oh my god. The Soviets are at export focus and limited conscription. There's no way we win this war. <laughs> oh, oh, so now you're a doomer like me, you bastard. 
After all the time I was saying, hey, maybe we could like bleed them dry at the forts for like all eternity, and you're like, nah, bro, we could take Moscow. Fucking bastard. Else. To be fair, look at the lines. I forgot to press the advance. I forgot to. T t <laughs> Whoops. That's my bad. L for. Also gaining manpower while fighting them. You're gaining manpower? How are you gaining manpower? I have 23,000 reserve. Whatever, I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just fine. Here, here's what I'm gonna do. I, I'm. I'm literally extensive constri conscription, export focus. I'm gonna build the infrastructure in your country, gangster, which should increase your population for ones that, for the places that don't have resources. <gasps> Ooh. Now I'll let the Germans bleed themselves dry for a bit. I am at the s bruh. I am at the same war participation as the Italians. I've only had to spend seventy thousand more lives to get there. I'm gonna admit should probably get some steel. JJ, you've lost 191,000 troops. What about it? It's so little or so no much? Manpower in reserve. Yes, and I've been at zero manpower for about five, six, seven years. Who knows? And what do I get in return? All that land. A whole lot of Russia. <laughs> A whole lot of Russia. You know, I could have kept that land that you have in Eastern Europe, but I gave it to you. It was a good idea on my part. Not right now. I need you to build railroads. All right, mister. I don't have civilian factories. I do not have the capability to do such a thing right now. Just, just uh, build it yourself, you know? But I'm too stupid to do it myself. Just go to construction, click the railroads, go to my country and click where the fuck you want the railroads to be. Doesn't look, matter. Look, look, JJ. It's literally like just a just a little bit of clicks here and there. Like I don't understand. My need for resources is ballooning out of control. I'm gonna have to do emergency factory co conversion that's not gonna solve your problem you don't know that just I'm missing 14,000 guns I'm missing 30,000 so suck it up Who really should emergency convert me or you I'm fighting a war against Russia in the winter and I got involved because of you if you really don't want to do that then you could fucking leave if you want like if you're just complaining but you're like I'm winning all right I'll just capture their their rail system yeah that's the Can same you repair it at least yeah it repairs automatically Move it up in priority to be repaired? Fine. I'll move it up in priority. I'll move everything up in priority.
I have way too much shit queued up, I'm not gonna lie. It takes a day to repair shit, holy crap. This is shit way back in Poland, though. Or I think it is. Don't matter. Yeah, they took my coastal forts and, uh, they kind of got forts on them, so, like, I can't take them back. Better idea. I'll just focus on one division. One, one spot. stop us yes good job good job good job now we gotta move to Stalingrad <laughs> I'm not wrong though the sad part Say thank you, Big Daddy McGee, for saving me from. I will Russia never man. say that in my life. <laughs> Fuck no. Yo, enemy has air superiority in Ukraine and Western Poland. Yeah, I can move the fighters away, but I don't want to lose in the south because, like, you were in the south, and I want your heartland protected. Look at how effective all those bunkers were, JJ. They're not even in use right now. You got a whole bunch of bunkers. You want to know why it isn't in use? Because I did your strat. And you know, you would have lost less casualties if you did my strat. It's true. They would have died a lot more against those bunkers. I'm not worried about casualties. I am. Because once I'm out of troops, I'm out. My manpower was at 400 something K. It's at 298k right now. Can only go so far before that hits zero. Dude, I could build infrastructure in everyone's country and I... It's, it's like, it's popping up everywhere. Jesus fuck. Stalingrad compared to Moscow press F and then type in Stalingrad and you find it it's either that or Leningrad you also have to take Leningrad after that Russia's dead not going there I swear to God if I don't get the caucuses for oil this world is going into World War 3 do you need oil I mean I deserve the caucuses for oil so you want light tanks or heavy tanks I said heavy tanks That is my Liebentrum. Italy is still raising new divisions and so is Germany. My divisions are almost going to be overtaken uh. by Italy. Uh. Eventually.
All right, what is it, Rico? Oh my god, we're taking a lot of the industrial base of theirs, and I can tell because they're starting to run out of supplies. Oh, and their supplies are being cut off. If we could cut off the supplies running from Moscow, they're done. Let me just uh, take a look see on here. Here we go again. <laughs> da -da -da. Da -da. Man, once Korean gets back in here and sees that he's gonna be actually useful, great. Yeah, especially after I put the infrastructure in his African territories. Fucking, he's gonna be amazing. At the same time, he's new, so probably mixed bag, really. We should attack Liberia, like, nah, well, we could. It's just a bunch of black Americans in Africa, oppressing Africans. Well, right now, not really, but holy shit, is Liberia's history crazy? I think there was a gay cannibalism rapist general warlord or some shit like that in control of Liberia for a while. What type of rapist warlord are you talking about? Liberia. No shit. Ah. These guys kept throwing Indians at us. Look at this. Colonial garrisons. Fucking taking Indians from their homes in, Ra in India and then just sending them at Germans. Some railways in this path have been recently captured from an enemy and need to be converted to be able to transfer supply. For the love of God, JJ, convert these railways. You know it doesn't take fucking instantly, you piece of shit. I'm trying. It takes like a day. For each railroad, chill. This game goes by the hour, we're on one speed. Two hours, it'll be completed. Well, one of them will. Germany eat the brunt of these casualties.
break through in the north. Why are you trying to break through across the river? Doesn't matter. Stop trying to break through in the north. Wait until we break through in the center far enough to encircle the north. Ah, fuck it. Well, I'm basically opening another front with these 13 divisions I have sitting here, so... Well, if you want to go like that, you could split the 13 in the north, or however many you have in the north. Send them around, punch through, oh, and I've encircle. Been holding, I've been holding uh, Estonia for a very long time. Yeah, just hold Estonia until they and keep dying. They down Holy shit, we're on Kiev's fucking nuts. in the south. I have plenty of men. I don't. I have all my shit on careful. That's why you're getting all these kills. <laughs> I'll do balanced. Need more oil? Fuel? I'm good on fuel for now. Hmm. Oh shit, I forgot that, dude, I accidentally set my fuel to fucking Germany as daily instead of once. So I was giving them 10,000 daily, what the fuck? Listen, I know I'm going to build these fucking railroads up, but I just want you to know, terrorists are probably going to sabotage them. I can't hear what you just, just, can you say that again? You're lagging. Terrorists will probably sabotage. Murica wants your location for saying oil. Listen, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, Siri, when did uh the U.S. join World War II? Oh, fuck, man. So we got until December. We've got until December to kill Soviet Union. I can do this. Yeah, sure, that's what you think, buddy. I'm taking Leningrad. Well, Greece is going to get killed. <laughs> you know, for the longest time, I was importing oil from uh, America. Until they started destroying my 
fucking convoys. America started destroying your convoys? No, not America. Someone else. Just some fuckers. I can give you convoys. How many do you need? Oh, I have plenty of convoys. It's just that I stopped it because none of my shit was getting through. You know what I might do? If once we kill Russia, what I'll do is I'll reorganize my armies. What I'll do is I'll get rid of like maybe eight infantry divisions or something like that. And uh, then I'll just make more armored and motorized because, you know, manpower. These guys have an encirclement penalty and they're still winning. Utter bullshit. It's probably the river crossing. Yeah, it is the river crossing. <laughs> I'm tanking my fucking military economy so all these fucking allies keep lend leasing me shit. Meanwhile, I'm just repairing all this infrastructure and shit. Yep. Using this opportunity though to use my civilian factories to build and repair shit. So now there's gonna be infrastructure in Africa. There's gonna be what? Infrastructure in Africa. Fuck that shit. Africa doesn't need infrastructure? Yes, it does. It has zero. <laughs> I'm getting at least one, so now that. The supply lines connect. Building infrastructure in Africa, building so our allies can be stronger. Vichy France doesn't have infrastructure for shit. Fuck them. Help us in the east. I am. It's I'm simultaneously. I am simultaneously building infrastructure there and repairing here. Look at my stream. It's evidence. Fifteen factories on the infrastructure in Africa. Fifteen civilian factories on infrastructure in uh, Poland or Russia. New Poland. It's not Russia anymore. It's Poland. Rightfully so. It's been like that for hundreds of years, I swear. Portia, my favorite Iranian. Also, my only Iranian friend I know. That doesn't matter. Nope. Not only. I, I know, well, yeah, only a friend. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, shit. I accidentally increased that a little too long. What you are doing? Hearts of Iron, we're beating up Russia because it's a bitch. We're gonna be taking Kiev soon. Yeah, I see your guys are just low on supply. You know, you could fill them by going back to a high supply area, then going back as well. Alright. This is a Torio birthday. Do you know Torio? Torio? Torio. Something like that.
how the fuck do they have air superiority? It's my fucking country. Circle them in the north. I said don't cross the river. Not encircle them. I said to encircle them by going from the center to the north. But fine, that works as well. I really don't have any fucking garrison power to like... Oh, I have an idea. Damn it, I can't request garrison support. No one has any manpower to give. It's so stupid. No one. What about the uh, British? No? Italy, Vichy France, nope. Do you have any spare manpower? Do I have what? Spare manpower. No. I'm fighting the Russians, dog. There's no such thing as spare manpower. Not even for garrison? I've given you a lot of manpower. 20k. It's not enough. Oh, you fuck. Guang Chi, click. And spirit. All right, so whatever. Yeah. I'll buy some tungsten off of you. Do you have automatics? Huh? Do you have automatic rifles? Yes. Holy shit, man. I don't even know if I have that. Or do I? Hold on. Oh no, I totally do. Or do I? No, hold on. No, they're they're not automatic. They will be soon. What infantry equipment too? That's not producing. Mine are like little MP40s. Mine, they I don't know. They look weird. You can just look on stream. I'm looking at uh. I'm gonna get infantry equipment. Uh, I already have infantry equipment too, but basically infantry. Oh, oh, improved infantry. Yeah, equipment, infantry equipment three is what I'm on, but I'm gonna go to four, and that should give me automatic rifles. I'll, it'll give me personal assault rifles, 
modernized. And anti-tank rockets. Wait, what? Rockets? What the fuck? Damn. So close to Moscow, I can almost take it. Yes, but you won't. Why JJ sound lagging? Various reasons. It's not oh. as bad as it was before, so I'm happy. I can actually understand the words that are coming out of his mouth. <laughs> So what do you think about uh, uh, Ragami, Ragami 2? Uh, I play? think I love my playstyle, but you might not like my playstyle. No, I like your playstyle. Ah. Okay. Yeah, you like it, you know. It's kind of uh, funny, like a stupid going to the... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> We do all, we do, did it all mission, you know? Yeah. I think it's time I get better tanks. Probably. You know what I should get, actually? Field hospitals. <laughs> I've lost 410k to the Soviet Union. Oh yeah, I looked at that. You were insane I've casualties. 460k in return. Nice. Now I've only killed 165k. Meanwhile, I've lost 173k. Yeah, Fallon just Poland, 8% war participation. I have more war participation than Italy. Yeah, brag about that with your fucking double the casualties of me. Yeah, I have about about the same war participation per casualty rate. The war situation has developed, and not necessarily. I, I like how this better. all started because I wanted Belarus. <laughs> oh boy, World War Two. So avoidable, but so tempting. Therefore, here we all two officer of the German general just tap. Why? Why is speaking weirdly? Nobody knows. Winston Churchill said immediately, immediately, what? Immediately. <laughs> I better to not speak it. Whenever in future wars the battle is fought, Panzer troops will. A man has to be alert all the time if he expects to keep on briefing. If not, some German son of a bitch will sneak up behind him and <laughs> beat him to death with a sock full of shit. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. How do I have air superiority here? Maybe the Germans. Oh my god, the tanks have no fucking organization on defense. Yeah, it says women in the workforce are is instantly removed if you're at peace or you don't have the economy law to total mobilization. Damn. Did you get rid of total mobilization? No. Oh, okay, good. wants to get all rowdy and shit. Ha <laughs> ha, you're fucking finally having rebellion problems. Here, just give me, uh... Shit, I don't know what to tell you, man. Good luck. Gibraltar is Spanish at last. <laughs> What is your server name? Uh, Thicky Dumpy Flexings. Why I can't find yeah. you? Boria, 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 Boria. You should uh, play as Hungary or Romania or. Yeah. 
or I'm you could. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Italy, you want to give me garrison support? Unless you want to play as Iran and join Axis. That would take a while, though. Are there any other puppet states? There's Vichy France. No, that's that's, bitch, that's someone else. I want. So basically, what you, what you want to pick uh, is uh, maybe maybe. Uh, Your son's uh, legend, uh, JJ. Uh, 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 fucking tired. I I can't understand what you're saying. Yes, Hungary, because Romania is at war. Well, let me refresh the internet. That's me, it's me. The internet, the, 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 the. Close quarters defense. Close quarters to form. Close quarters attack. Close quarters defense. It's apparently getting really close in the battle. Like, it's getting close quarters for Danzig. Oh, won. I won. Oh, finally got my military factories back. More guns. Dockyards. What do I use for the dockyards? Mm. Mm. Hold on, I need to pause it for a second. My fucking divisions are being stupid as fuck. Here, gangster, I'm importing more steel from you. Here, here, actually, I'll switch. I should free up some factories for you, gangster. Now do something about it, nice. I just converted factories. Now making even more guns. I'm almost at Moscow. I'll be at Moscow by May. Good job. You're making me real big and proud.
Let Spain take Moscow. Yeah. I don't know. It's not really a solo effort, but, you know. I think you're trying to underplay my achievements here. Oh. It's not much of an achievement then if it is. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I probably could do the same as Spain, so it's expectation Bet. then. Bet? Alright then, if you really want to go that way then you have to play Poland and see if you can take Moscow. I will play whoever I'd like to play. That's a problem then. Can't prove shit, so I don't know why you brag. Man, no wonder America comes in like a wrecking ball. Just look at this fucking casualties on both sides. Two million on us, and then fucking three, almost three million on the enemies. And then America, fuck yeah, comes in, just wrecks shit at the end with their like a factory. Oh, millions of fucking troops just slapping everywhere. It's different. <laughs> Look at how many of the Soviets fuck. are being in Finland. Yeah. Holy Have you heard fuck. that? Yeah. What? Look at how many Soviets are being encircled in Finland. Oh shit! Yeah. Or you could look at it as Germans being encircled. Um. A little bit of both, really. Maybe this war with Finland would go better if we had Sweden as a puppet. They are fighting tooth and nail. Who the fuck? Not to give up one more inch towards Moscow. I love it. I love it too, man. America, best country ever. When America cool. comes, JJ's famous sports in Western Poland are gonna come in clutch. Yeah, I won't say cut through Germany. Yeah, I will. Yeah, when they drop a, they sprinkle a couple fucking a bombs on you, you'll be. Yeah, okay. Listen, by the time that happens, it depends on whether we kill Soviet Union or not. Honestly. You see this? You see this? Now, you see how we had to cut through Ukraine to get to Russia's heartland? So imagine if, like, right here, where we're at right now, is where NATO starts if we go to war with Russia. Fucking easy. Easy, bro. That's why they're mad. It's every day, bro. I feel like Fair Russia day. should have been a part of the NATO. Would have been such a steal. Fair. Such a game over for the Chinese. But no. We fucked up. When am I going to kill the Germans? Uh, the problem is, I am allied to the Germans. Out of self-defense. Because fuck communism. There's not a lot of reasons... They wanted to join, and we said no. After the Soviet Union collapsed and the Russian Federation came into existence, they wanted to join, and we refused them. Yeah, we fucked up. Georgia. When they wanted to join, that was before they started doing that shit. I can't join you. The server is... Yeah, she's, I mean, yes. She's, uh, yes. Dead ass. Is a private. When they collapsed, they could have fucking joined. It's, it's, it is. We did a lot of shady shit when I the Soviet Union collapsed. Right now, I'm sorry. Okay. Like 
fucking McDonald's took a, a meal at McDonald's fucking yeah, took a I day's know. worth of wage or a week's worth. I don't know. It was a fucking huge amount of wage for fucking McDonald's happy meal. It was fucked up. <laughs> American business is fucking up, fucking around with the Russia's people. And then Putin came in shirtless on a horse was like, fuck you Westerners. Boris Yeltsin was a fucking... Wasn't he the alcoholic or was that someone else? Boris Yeltsin did side with the West, but he was incompetent. Putin is not siding with the West, but he's actually competent. He was an alcoholic. Yeah, he was. He was a fucking alcoholic. Yeltsin was a shitty leader for Russia. For the West, it was good. For, for Russia, it was ass. Ass. Nothing got done in Russia. The people hate Yeltsin. The people in Russia hate Yeltsin mostly. Well, they well they kind of like him for being more Western oriented, but other than that, didn't have a good track record. Putin. All right, that's that's fair, but at the same time, it's not that bad. Let's see. There was a Crimean War of annexation. And Georgia, and the Chechnyans, and what was it, Syria? Other than that, not that many conflicts. Ukraine, that's another one. Yeah. Ukraine is cool. They're fighting tooth and nail over Moscow. Yeah, that's Russian, all right. Ukrainians, I I've, I've seen some shady shit though. But then again, at the same time, like we're any better. Almost five months in. I believe in Ukraine. They have a. Uh, Pretty. Honestly, I can't blame Russia because, like, Ukraine was damming up and turning Crimea into a desert. Yeah. Honestly, I get the war in Ukraine is entirely Putin's fault. Well, not... Well, yeah, him starting it was, but... The reasons as to why he did it... We're not just him wanting to be a big boy empire, I guess. It's, it's just more of a strategic view. It's like the same reason uh, fucking Italy kind of got to exist. The same reason Austria-Hungary existed. They needed some type of buffer. Like, France wanted a buffer between like them and Austria-Hungary or Prussia. And then Austria-Hungary was a buffer state from France and Germany and Italy between Russia, but then they got put in the Dark Ages because of communism, and so there was no need. Austria-Hungary was disbanded, basically. And Ukraine is mostly just, uh, Ukrainian is, as, the, as a people is a mix between Polish, Russian, uh, Mongol, what else, what else? JJ, put your armies on the river. Where? Heading for Crimea. Oh, you fucking psycho. Most of them probably don't know what that is. That's their fault for being <laughs> fucked. <stupid. laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they don't. They think they're their own people. They're mixed. They're like a. It's their part Russian, Mongol, Polish. Ukrainian language is mostly Russian. But with slight differences that you could find in uh, Polish and also Tartar. There, I set some fucking uh, offensive line for Polo for Crimea. But basically, you know, yeah, what was really funny is there was uh, some river or some shit flowing from 
mainland Ukraine into Crimea, right? And it was the main source of water for the entirety of Crimea. They dammed it up, not even for electricity. Like, the Ukraine was pissed. So they just dammed it up with a concrete wall, nothing else. Just, uh, just completely cut it off. And it was getting rid of the fucking... All the water just going to Crimea. And it was turning that bitch into a desert. It was getting mad. It was turning into Arizona. Turned into Nevada. Fucking dead. And it was really fucked up. Because before that, Crimea was incredibly fertile. Had a lot of land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was a time during the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. That was when Russia was very weak. And uh, they lost... They lost Ukraine and Moscow... To the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, which was a big old Pol Polish superpower. It was actually bigger than my Poland right now. It's bigger than this. Had a whole of Prussia. Yeah, sometimes it had Moldova as its vassal. This little chunk here of Romania. And it had a pretty decent western half of Ukraine. No, the, the Russians taking Ukraine and Russia as a whole is just a various amount of reasons. It's, it's mostly just a mix of Norse coming into rule over Slavs, Norse princes ruling over Slavs, and then them mixing, because the Norse also took Varangian adventures from Scandinavia down through the rivers to fight for the Roman Empire as bodyguards in Constantinople. Moldova was never part of Ukraine. Moldova was a was a Dacian, was always part of this Dacian area of ethnically Dacian people, and then it got migrated with Sla Slavs because of various reasons, depopulation, various genocides the Huns did. It was Romanian. It was Romanian, and then during World War II, it was ceded to the USSR. Yeah, I was a part of Romania once. But basically, Moldova... They, they just wanted more land to go through because most countries have geographical borders that help slow down any possible invasion. Like, Greece is, like, small. is like, a lot of coastline. Yeah, but everywhere is fucking mountains. Turkey, everywhere is mountains. Carpathian Mountains protect Romania and the uh, various parts here. But Russia is all flat, just flat, dead ass. So if, they, if the West starts winning battles in Russia, they'll just zoom across their land like it's nothing. Afghanistan was a bitch. Hella mountains. Hella mountains. There is no natural border for Russia. There is none. Carpathian Mountains... Right here. Those help defend. Bro. C. Yeah, C. Ural Mountains ain't gonna save them for shit. The heartland of Russia is literally here. This is where all the industry is. Siberia is just basically like built like Canada. Exactly like Canada. Because Canada... Everyone lives, like, around this area. And then over here is just all fucking mountain lions, wolves and shit. Just wilderness. Absolutely nothing. But the heartland of Russia, it's all here. These mountains aren't going to do shit. Unless for some dumbass reason we come in through Siberia, built like Canada. No infrastructure. Fucking nothing there. Just forest and bears and shit. Fuck. Very loose populations of Slavs just thinly out in this area. Here is just fucking ice. Siberia is a literal Canada. Exactly. So the only natural barrier is the Ural Mountains you're talking about here. Which is literally in the wrong place. It should, well, if it was here, that would help a lot. 
they would need Ukraine. But the problem is... Dig in for the winner, but you forget. That's only like, what? Ten. That's like a sixth of the year. You have like, what? Ten months to fight Russia, then two months to wait? That's nothing. That's... Winner ain't gonna save Russia for shit. If it doesn't have some buffer state... Honestly, for... Oh, fuck, how would I do this? Two months sounds like a lot, but in war it's nothing. It really isn't. If it's a, like, all-out war against big country like Russia, Russia will last years. It'll be nothing. So when the Germans started their advances, they got, like... There. Stopped. There, stopped. There, stopped. And then they fucking got here. And then past these rivers, they were assembling a bunch of fucking infrastructure, random shit. Assembling, hiding a bunch of tank divisions, whatnot. And then out of nowhere, one of the winter offensives came. Boom, just pushed them west. Just kept pushing them west. Honestly, if Hitler... We were lucky Hitler was in charge of Germany because if someone competent was in charge, we'd be fucked. Because a lot of a lot of people in the Soviet Union in the western part that at first welcomed the Germans to liberate them from the Russian oppressors, but uh, they were more cruel than the Russians. So eventually that just turned against their favor. They would have actually helped them fight the Russians if they were actually cool, but they weren't. So they didn't help them fight the Russians. What kind of balls do the Russians have to attack with one division against like fucking nine? Yes, Mr. Mustache Man. Yeah, exactly. One thing that's crazy about Germany, in both world wars, they fought to the bitter end to like their military and standing army was like basically non-existent. They fought so hard that where the fuck's Berlin? Fought so hard like in Berlin. They they, they the freaking allies that started here and here they didn't give up till they met there there were even still some outskirts there was still some continuation wars in like i don't know norway and various posts and shit yeah austria hungary was uh it's kind of shit well, not really. Sh it had a potential. If they gave more rights to the other parts of the empire instead of just the Hungarians and Austrians. They were pro they were planning to make a Austria, Hungary, Croatia actually at one point, but it was too late. Too late. Too late to big reforms to in be inclusive and then be strong. There was this one proposal. I think it was to call itself the Federation of the Danube or Danube or some shit. And. They were fucked. Too ethnically diverse. Italy. Italy in World War One doesn't get a lot of credit like it should have. Like, fighting in the Alps was probably the most insane battlefront compared to the East, West, whatever. Most insane shit happened there. Fighting super high up altitude in the mountains. Cutting and digging into mountains to fight. Cutting into mountains to blow up said mountains to kill your enemies. Shoot at mountains to kill your enemies. It was so stupid. It was like trench warfare, but a thousand, thousands of miles in the in the sky or some shit. It's dumb. It was insane. And those fucking insane Italian Alpine warriors are fucking crazy. Switzerland, yeah, they were just standing there. Well, what the hell are you do, supposed to do with Switzerland? They are literally just mountains. 
Switzerland's been Switzerland for like too long to not be Switzerland. Let's go to through assault. Swiss neutrality was basically will fight anybody, like even from their very existence from getting independence from the HRE. Like they just like said, fuck off Holy Roman Emperor. Holy Roman Emperor came down with an army, came into Switzerland, got fucked by a confederation, and then they're like, alright, cool. And then they got a reputation as strong fighters and were hired as mercenaries by Holy everyone. So much bigger than Holy fuck. And yet, you're your still manpower, stronger. Manpower problem fixed yet? <laughs> no. No, it's actually decreased. It's actually gotten worse. Ah. Son of a bitch, these British bastards are sinking my convoys. Who am I importing from? What the fuck? That just reminded me. I I am I'm not gonna lie. I don't think of myself as a racist person, but I do not like the British. <laughs> I really don't. At all. Fucking Englishmen. Cause a lot of problems for everyone. Let's take British Raj. India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh all hate each other. It's because some dumbass white man doesn't know how to draw map borders. No. No, I don't like English people just straight up in real life. Well, not not all English people. Just, just the country, the government. Just don't like it. I think the UK should be disbanded, Scotland should be independent, Wales should be independent, Northern Ireland, let's go to Ireland, and fuck it, Cornwall too, they don't get Cornwall either, it just gets to become a part of Cornwall, or Wales. Ugh. Government sucks. Israel and Palestine, they fucking, they drew those borders as well. Fucking dumbasses. Africa. Well, not much happening in Africa. Well, there's a lot of shit happening in Africa. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of bloody conflicts in Africa. It's not entirely them, it's also France breaking up their shit. I don't know, whoever the fuck drew those borders. Fucked well up done, Indian subcontinent. <clears throat> they also just keep like fucking with everyone in Europe. Like, keeps everyone fucked. <laughs> I do not care about the 17th century British Isles again. I'd rather them be divided like that. You know what? Tell you what. I'll have the British Isles be UK. Right. But except England, like literally Wales, Scotland, Cornwall, Ireland, and Ireland, all unite, except for except for England. They're just ex excluded from Is a new cool union. What's he saying? New union. Uh, yeah, he's talking bullshit. <laughs> it is mostly bullshit, but it's not entirely bullshit. Canada, you know what? Here's here's another tough take. Canada might as well just be a state. Might as well just annex Canada as a U.S. Just, just make that all. Fuck England. <laughs> that's this that's is true. Why your sounds been like that. It, it's your this is reasons. Something problem. Mexico, something their independence is more problematic than gained. Might as well just take them too. Venezuela, we could take them for oil. Fucked up. His internet is definitely fucked up. There's something going on. Cuba. 
<laughs> just get rid of Cuba. They're just they're just sitting there being useless. We'll make Cuba and add it to the state of Puerto Rico. We'll make Puerto Rico a state. Where the fuck's Puerto Rico? There it is, Puerto Rico. Make Puerto Rico a state. Annex Cuba, make it part of Puerto Rico. Cuba ended the world almost. Yeah, almost. Kind of like how Ukraine might almost end the world. All we gotta do to start World War Three is just send nukes into Ukraine if they win this conflict. Or survive. Ukraine did fucking nothing? Ukraine? Ukraine is Russia's Cuba. That's what it is, basically. Bro, Soviet troops just bounce it from Havana to Miami. And then we go over to Ukraine. I've cut off Leningrad in the north. Where, where's Kiev? Is that what you Kiev, saying? Kiev, Kiev. We already took Kiev, didn't we? Doesn't matter. Okay, so this is like kind of Ukraine's borders. Shut up. <laughs> just from here. Really? To wherever the fuck Moscow is there. Just hopscotch away, damn near. Fucking easy mode. Finland? Finland's getting mad at us. You know, you know what's fucked up? This you, the new you, the I, I don't have a problem with Ukraine being an attendant. It's just that their leadership was okay and corrupt. Well, it, it was tiptoeing around diplomatically correctly. However, corruption-wise, they were ass. However, with Zelensky, what he did was like be a little bit too obvious. He was like, "I'm gonna join NATO," and and Russia was like, "All right, get invaded, bitch!" Like, like. <laughs> The previous uh, Ukrainian governments, they tried to balance, like, on a seesaw between West and East. Kind of like Finland. Yeah, yeah, kind of like Finland. They, they try to interact with the West and Russia at the same time without being too lenient to one side and promise to be neutral if any conflict breaks out. And Ukraine was like, yeah, let's join NATO. Which fucking threw off the power balance completely, basically. It's crazy. fucking forts around Warsaw and I wanted to take Moscow. We probably could have taken Moscow first. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't about Zelensky. It was more about like various groups that act uh racist inside of Ukraine. Which is only like partially true because there are a lot of Nazis there are a lot of like uh ex Germans I heard hiding in Ukraine. But that's not really a Cassius Belly. They have racist groups like the Proud Boys in America. I think it was like, aren't those the guys that like fucking wear Viking helmets? They, the, the, the people that raided the capital. They're basically uh, Ukraine's equivalent of the people that raided the US capital. Hello. Don't really seem like a force to be very worried about, I'm saying. Well, the true, the real oh Cassius, well, oh fuck, the real Cassius Belly, the real oh. Cassius Belly was Ukraine trying to join NATO, and uh, Putin was not all about that shit. Ukrainska. What happened? Uh, Japan just essentially getting the U.S. in World War Two. Oh shit. And like. We haven't capitulated the Soviet Union yet. Georgia was in the USSR for dumb reasons. The, the reason why Georgia was part of the USSR was because that's where Stalin was from. Stalin was a Georgian, not a Russian. Born in Georgia. 
And he was actually tr fucking training to become a priest. But then he started getting involved with the Communist Party. And then eventually got more important. And then was like, all right, fuck Georgian independence. I'm going to be Romania the leader of Russia. The and then he did. Seeing a pattern here. Guy gets born in different country. Rules the other country. Yes, Hitler was an Austrian. Ruled Germany. Stalin was a Georgian. Ruled Russia. Very strange. But basically, basically, that the reason why Georgia was a part of the USSR, it was a part of the Russian Empire, which got it by fighting the Ottomans. And the Ottomans beat the Georgians and annexed them. And then the Russians annexed that Georgia land because they were protecting the Christians from the Ottomans. Or so that's what the Cassius Belli was for, to protect the Christians in Muslim lands. Basically, yes, World War Three might happen in our generation, or at the end of our generation. How bad it will be, I don't know. But I hope that we somehow ally with the Russians to help us attack China, because their population is what I'm worried about. We don't have enough men. Chinese men becomes U.S. president? No. A Mexican will become president. And that Mexican should be me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll do it. I don't want to. I want to play video games. But I'll do it. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Some of you may die. But that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. I'm fucking around. Oh boy. Oh boy. Japanese man oh, becomes leader of boy. Russia. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Indian man becomes leader of China. Do you know what is Jojo mean? Jojo? I believe that's some type yeah. of anime. <laughs> but do you know Jojo man? Jojo man is a. Uh... Uh, is a simple, is a simple of uh, Vikings. The the Jojo is a brother of uh, Loki, and he tried to kill a god of war, and he, you know, he failed, and uh, he yes. he's being gay next time. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, fucking. Ugh. Speaking of being gay, I've lost damn near half a million casualties. <laughs> that was your choice. No, I'm just kidding. Um, don't worry. Germany's using, losing. Uh, you know, I thought you like about it's same. Important, but <laughs> close, close <laughs> casualties. You're streaming now. I've been streaming, Portia. I believe that Italy and Spain should unite into one country. Federation. The United Kingdom. And then, oh shit. What? Ah, that's right, bitch. Get fucked, Germany. I mean, get fucked, Russia. <laughs> yeah, Germany took Leningrad. Oui. I did all the fucking hard work up there, and they... The well, uh, you know, shit happens. You went off script. Oh, dear lord. I desperately need a garrison. Do you have any manpower to give me to garrison? Because otherwise I'm going to have a civil war soon. Any what? 
Garrison. Garrison, now. I need Garrison support. Can you give it, please? Yes or no? I cannot do this. Fuck. I can't even support my own garrisons. I'm putting them on martial law and shit. <coughs> Are your divisions even doing anything? Yeah. Yeah, they are. <sighs> what are your divisions doing? Killing people. Garrison, Barrison, did you know that U.S. is sending volunteers to Ukraine? Who the Portugal, fuck isn't? Latvia, Estonia, Belarus, Lithuania, Czechoslovakia, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Free France, and France, have all been knocked out of the war, KO'd. They've been knocked out of the war, I don't know what's surprising. Alright, women in the workforce, baby, get the fucking work, you women. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> no one clipped that. Hold on, why is there a clip? Oh, right, I clipped. Get the work, you women. <laughs> Hold on, did we take Moscow and lose it, or, or we did we not? Oh, we didn't. No, I could not break through. They are fucking... It's fine, we're almost there. We just gotta get Stalingrad, and then... They are legitimately, like, fighting the hardest I've ever seen over Moscow. We're gonna take Finland, we're gonna take all of northern Russia, and then collapse upon them. Their lines are just too fucking thick. Like, they are, they have everything in the center, dog. A good thing I'm putting everything in my, I have in my center, in the center, I mean. There's going to be a rebellion, an uprising, and I don't have the strength to put it down. Fuck. Polska tank corps holding them back. gonna rebel uh Belarus again damn yeah put the oh, fuck If 
Portugal rebels, I hope you know it's game. Why don't you just draw a line around Portugal so you quickly annex it? I'm going to need to disband all those troops in Spain and have someone else garrison Spain. What? Don't do that! Keep them there! That's just so I can get a little bit of reprieve. Sylvester Pool. Really? I'm built up on the river. Jesus, am I sucking all this land in? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait a second. Yeah, you want to know what countries aren't? I could tell you. Greece, Serbia, and wow. okay. maybe Albania. <laughs> Maybe everything? I don't know. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Fuck. Maybe Switzerland. That's a good wow. guess. Uh, uh, about the others. I don't know. Oh shit, there's a serious naval invasion in Bulgaria. But Bulgaria is Bulgaria, so you better put yourself up a fight, you fuckers. There's a serious naval invasion where? Uh, it says dangerous naval invasion in Bulgaria. A naval invasion in Bulgaria. Well, you're gonna have to do something about that. That's your homeland. I, I that's not mine, you dipshit. That's, that's Bulgaria's homeland. That's not my responsibility. That's Bulgaria's fault. I live in Bulgaria. Help. That's a lot of Russians, I'm sorry, but you're on your own. Oh my god, they're at extensive conscription now. Now they're up to 2 million manpower. If we just I'm wipe them out... Fascism in, uh... Is it Hungary? Please tell me it's Hungary. In Hungary. Thank you. Which you should have been doing a long time ago. I've been doing it, you fucker. I'm the one who got the fascism up to like 30 something. I'm the one who got Bulgaria to become fascist with the help from Italy. Fuck, man. Germany is getting rocketry. <clears throat> I think we're, I really hope that they did not bring us to war with the US. Oh, they didn't. Not yet. Fascists. Well, Germany might just say, fuck it, declare war on the USA. We can take them, dude. Hopefully not. Africa's not going terribly, actually. I'm looking at it. It's not that bad. From a certain point of view. I have more war participation than Italy. Is that a problem? I take fascism over communism. Me. That's actually true, by the way. It's my opinion. Fuck communism. 
Is Mr. Desert Fox doing good? You know what? That's a good question. I don't even know what the fuck fucking Rommel's doing. Erwin, uh, what the fuck is he doing? Crazy, right? Nah, screw it. Just, just engage the plan. Help out the allies. I mean, our allies, not the allies, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck those bridge. Stick sucking cunts. Dude, do you really not decide to go into other focus trees instead of spamming the fucking continuation of construction? Yes. Dude. Problem? You know you get more war support if you go down the ideological- Everything I have needs to be repaired. Look at the end of the focus tree. Look at technology sharing. It's a one-time effect for a boost in electronics industry and weapons and support artillery. I'm pretty sure it's permanent. It's a one-time boost. No, it's not. Look at that ideological... I mean, no, no, technology sharing. I got the wrong shit. One-time boost? How? Those are one-time boosts. They're one-technology boosts. Oh, that's fine. Alright, what about going through the land doctrine at least to help you fucking smash through Russia faster? Oh yeah, I've already done all land doctrine. No, it doesn't. Talking about the army of effort on the focus tree. Atomic effort? No, 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 no. Army effort. Go down there. I can't hear a fucking word you're saying, so I'm just gonna, like, stop, and eventually you'll get better, I guess. Army effort. Fucking it's army, you bastard. You're at your command. I give up. Just do your special focus army tree. Effort, special equipment of effort, research shit. bonus. Just do shit useful. Army fucker, no. Polish front really isn't doing as hot as it was before. Well, I'm being spread thin, you bastard. What do you think? Alright, here, here's what I'll do. I actually don't have any fuel to give. Holy shit. What have I done?
You know what? Should I rush for Moscow or yes or no? Quickly. What? Should I rush for Moscow? Do what you want to do, boss. Oh Give me a solid fucking answer. Oh my god. All I heard is should I Moscow? Should I Moscow? And that's that's it. That's all I got. Oh, okay, that's close enough. Close? Yes, we are close to Moscow. God, talking to this guy's a fucking pain sometimes. All we have to get is Sevastopol, Stalingrad, and Moscow. And then we should be fine. And dandy. And I need to sleep. It's been eight hours on this stream. What the fuck? Get Moscow. Alright, alright, pussy. After we take Moscow, they're gonna make their capital in fucking Stalingrad. I'm going to be furious when Belarus gets his independence. <sighs> Fucking... Well, you better do whatever you can about it.
the battle of the Yogi. Yet. That's an absolutely gar gargantuan battle. What do you mean? Massive. We can encircle the guys in Finland if we just Imagine. cut them off. Well, do you see what my uh, first army is trying to do? I have no idea which one's your first army. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I see it. Not bad. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. Which one's yours? That's yours. Okay. Oh, you deleted it. Yeah, I'm because it only made one division do it for some reason. Well, they're all a really low organization. Too low to advance, that's why. Just take them off aggressive. No. No! <laughs> Dude. No. They can't attack unless they're at a good enough organization level. No. <laughs> <sighs> Those guys doing nothing uh, back in Estonia or whatever, are they, are, you, are they there for a revolt or are they gonna like come down to help maybe? You see how my people are gonna revolt? I can't help you with your revolts, my people are gonna revolt. Oh really? Fucking Eastern Europeans, goddamn. So rowdy. Same boat. I swear I need to kill the manpower. I mean, I need to free up some manpower. I'm slowly growing manpower, but I'm consuming it at the same pace, basically. So, that sucks. How many divisions does Russia even have? 170 to 289. He does sound like a robot. I finally took the damn rail lines. So Russia, their troops are just gonna lose out on supplies for forever. Yeah. Well, don't worry, because soon Greece is gonna get annexed, and then they'll be able to redirect some divisions to help us again. Seems like the African front is coming along for some reason. How are they... How do they not have any fucking factories? All of Belarus. Oh, you see it? If I had the manpower, I wouldn't need martial law because a garrison of civilian oversight would be enough. Well, just delete some divisions. 
Mr. No. JJ to like get some form of manpower. I refuse. You're not being super helpful anyways, dog. Oh, so then you won't care if I pull all of my forces off the front of the what? Soviets and I just keep them in my territory. You 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 think they wouldn't matter? You think they wouldn't matter at all? Not all of your divisions. Just oh, oh, so enough. Delete enough. It wouldn't make a dent. It a wouldn't bolt. make a dent. You don't understand the absolute chaos. How many divisions do you have? Uh. You have 53 divisions. Delete 23 of them. I'd have to delete. Just chopping block. 24 of them. Look around. Make tough decisions. Do it. You want me to wipe out an entire army? Yeah. Oh my god, I just got free manpower. Where the fuck did they come from? What the hell? Oh no, it's gone immediately. Yo, something just happened. Hold on, am I on the path to making a comeback? Manpower wise? Slowly encircling Moscow. Nice. Slowly. Yes. Slowly and steadily. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, sir. Russia. I, I don't know what's happening with Russia. Their manpower keeps going up, their divisions keep going up. But their factories keep going down. Yeah, eventually they're not gonna have enough equipment to uh, man the men. So as long as we keep hitting them in the high infrastructure areas, we'll be good. Just use the infrastructure map to help you decide where to expand. Just go around the, the red areas. Might Take Leningrad. What? Yeah. Garrison that bitch. Oh, I'm just that I kind of feel like garrisoning it because there's a lot of factories there. I'm very afraid. They're all military. Yeah, there's a lot of factories there, dog. I'm nowhere near it. <laughs> Fuck. A lot of factories. Empire of the East and West. Glorious Iran. <laughs> realm that unites oh, all I world see land. You, you see what I did? A lot of their troops from the northern lines go retake Leningrad. But now that they did that, they're just losing ground. Oh, they're gonna like, lose the entirety of Finland if they capitulate Savo. That's the only capital they have, I think, left for Finland. Because Helsinki was the first, and then it went to Savo. Or maybe they moved it to Tampere. I don't think they're going to lose Finland anytime soon. They'll, they'll lose Finland. They'd be fucking sick if they could they, They'll lose Finland, but they can't lose Finland, if you know what I mean. Like, they, basically, it'll still be Finland because Soviet troops still exist there. You know? But... Or no, there's not just Soviet, there's also some Aussies and fucking Xinjiang, some Chinese communists there. China, man, that's fucking... Or no, just Turkic, man. 
I believe this it's some territory here it turns into Kazakhstan. Chaos is extreme. The Russian army is in full retreat. That's good, that's good. I'm thinking of converting some military factories in Belarus to civilian just to fuck with them. Oh no, that's stupid. Yeah, maybe I will convert. I'm not repairing any of this shit. It's all in the fucking rebellion region. It's gonna get blown up again. So I think if I just increase all my infrastructure enough, I should be able to regain my population. All of my artillery factories have been blown up. In in Estonia or what? Uh, everywhere. Everywhere by what? The fucking Portuguese? Or just bombers. You know those uh, strategic bombers? Can you use them on Moscow? I don't have any. One time he doesn't have strategic bombers. I accidentally disbanded it at like way before it's before it started. Remember? It was a mistake. I was, it was to get manpower, and now I wish I had the bombers instead. Hey, some of the fronts were winning. strategically bomb Moscow. They're still getting supplies from this railroad. If I cut off this railroad, they'll be forced to go into Leningrad. Otherwise, they won't have any supplies. Or they might have supplies from Petrovals. Maybe they'll have some supplies. Oh, in a bit, I'm gonna get a half track upgrade or some shit like that. Fucking 98, 9.8% finish. Come on. Should I get paratroopers and marines? Uh, 
Um, you should get paratroopers and disband like 20. Yeah, you know, let's see how many. Did you disband any? No. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'll do it. Do it once we take Moscow. Someone just canceled their lend lease with me. Let me up the aggressiveness from careful to balanced. Oh yeah, I've been fucking all out aggression for a while. Alright then, I guess since you're that cocky, aggressively. Aggressively to do it. It's not cockiness, they're just on the retreat until you chase them down. Alright, I guess I'll chase them down like you. Well, now we're pushing them on all sorts of fronts, huh? I'm I'm entirely based in the center. Like the more men I lose, the sh the shorter I make my main battle line. You might just want to take Crimea. I'm fucking ignore Crimea. Uh, that's up to Romania and Bulgaria to do. I'm not I'm not in Crimea. I'm way I'm I'm like dead center. I'm by Moscow. Not entirely, but like good chunk. I'm I'm making my way towards Georgia. It's all your fault. <sighs> I've inflicted almost as many casualties on the Soviets as the Germans have. Whose fault is it? Whose fault is it anyway? It's mine. I started the war. <laughs> You're yeah, you welcome. War. I don't know what to tell you. That Wait, no, fun. no, I didn't. The Soviets did, <laughs> but they wanted me to die, so it's their fault. Uh. Fuck them. Damn. Fuck them all to death. Yeah, fuck them for all day. No, <laughs> Yeah. Dude, they lost the almost dog. four million men. Holy shit! Holy shit! Taking their damn defensive bullshit. Don't worry, we, we're gonna fight to take that airbase, maybe. Okay, we need to take back air superiority. Dog, I moved the whole damn air force. Soviets are in full retreat. This is pretty much a dub.
crap. I think we've broken the Soviets. Damn near, basically, yeah. We're expanding so fast, my tanks can't keep up for some reason. I finally got through. I punched a hole they could not fill. Wow. Wow. Let's get it like that. Oh shit, thank you for the follow, Tobis. Uh, Tobike? To I don't know how to say that name. Not 100% sure. Have multiple guesses though. <coughs> Swear Africa's just been at that border the entire time. Mostly due to South Africa's effort. And I'm telling this guy go aggressive in the south. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie, that could have worked too. It's not like this is the only way. It's the only way your brain could think of. Forcing them back. Absolutely forcing the Soviets back. You didn't believe in me. Dude, literally fucking acting like you did this alone, bro. So you're I was here. Uh, Axes got to Volgoda on their own? Listen. Romania's here. I'm here. Germany's here. Italy's here. Fucking, I think somewhere in here there might even be a Bulgaria, possibly. I don't know. Yeah. You just didn't believe. So, you were like, oh, we need to fall back. We need to fall back. No, oh, fall oh, back. well, it would have worked. Oh. It would have worked too, bitch. <laughs> it would have. <laughs> Underestimate the power of my fortifications. I'm using my fucking manpower to just roll them, dog. I punched all the holes. You sure are. You sure are. You Germany's sure are. Germany's gonna take Moscow. Well, that's fine. I'm taking Moscow. I'm there, bro. One step closer to Moscow. Oh shit, I hit fortifications. I'm forcing them to extend their lines. Now when they're forced to extend their lines... We push. Holy shit. My divisions in the north are just sweeping. We're sweeping through Germans. Sweeping through Russians. <laughs> I'm so happy, JJ. He thought that that we can only win 
through defense and then I didn't say we could only win. I said we can win. Yes, sir. The thing is, I knew this that is my exactly tactic how would we're work. Kill America. I'm not fighting what? America like this at all. Fuck you. I'm hunkering down oh, at the yeah. coast. You know how you're gonna kill America? Just you know, put some fucking forts around. Just just build some more forts around Warsaw, dog. It'll be fine. You know what? Fuck you. Build your own forts. I'm gonna purposely fortify around your borders. I'm just not on your borders, fucking bastard. Build your own forts. Damn it, it happened again. I saw for a split second I fucking had manpower, then it disappeared again. Cause I don't have fucking fuel, isn't it? Let's get some more fuel. Double it. This is why Stalin said not one step back. Because when you watch Moscow slowly get encircled from the north and the south. Which is scary. The Spaniards will rise again, fellas. Man, I wonder how many horses you ran through just to do this shit. Jeez. We only lost half a million men. Oh my god. For the low, low price of half a million men, no more communism. No, it's definitely Portugal a million. Portugal got what it deserved. At least a million against fucking Stalin. Oh, yeah, he lost two million. No, no, I'm talking about us combined. His casualties are just ballooning. It's the Red Army for you. He's taken 2.2 .2 million casualties. Excuse He's me. He's swapped to extensive conscription. War economy. Wow, and he still crazy. has another three million in reserve. Holy shit. Punching through that line was the best decision since peanut butter and jelly the best decision since green eggs and ham I don't know any of these references Oh shit, not that, not that, not that. Absolutely forcing the Soviets back.
they think I'm gonna attack them over the river for Petrovska. No, I'm not. Let's see how many divisions they bring my way. Try and stop this. Which is now, the cat's out of the bag, it's unstoppable. Actually, it might be stoppable soon. If they slow down these horses enough, if they make my horses retreat, then I won't have any more gas left in the tank. But they had to give up the defense of Moscow to stop this salient. Lovely. out oh my god I got so lucky the Belarus independence spawned with zero divisions fucking easy bro enough to force them out of Leningrad and away from Moscow. We're invading Moscow? Oh, you didn't notice? Poland and Germans. Let's go. Oh, you just noticed. I've been focusing forces on Moscow. Watching a little bit, I didn't see who's the it was. Oh yeah, you you were too busy German. sucking your own dick in the north and south, huh? Uh, this guy. Man, each of my army groups did fucking work. Soviets do. Iran, where's my fucking oil? Who's importing your oil? Who's stealing it from me? No, I get the Crimea. Oh, if you want it, then uh, nah, I'm gonna keep it. I don't think you'll get a choice because uh, I am second place on the war participation. All right, then you go ahead and take it. I'll take the caucuses. I get all the caucuses. You know what? Honestly, go and ahead and try. And Iraq, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia, and Oman, Yemen. Uh, Good luck doing that as Spain with your shitty Spain. ass border. Oh my god. Do you want to try speeding it up a little bit or no? Probably not, yeah.
take Moscow before the sun, the, the winter, please. and support. Hungary still isn't fascist. What is it at? 37. Well, you gotta keep hitting the hay. I keep hitting that shit. I don't know. I had in the hay. I, I don't. I don't know where the fuck I was going with this. I'm tired of shit. Been playing for nine and a half hours straight. These guys went down the liberty focus. They're gonna be democratic most likely, unless we force them to be fascist, which we're totally going to. <clears throat> That's what it was. We all down for some Minecraft or something? Or some uh, adventure game? No! What? Okay, so we need to wipe.
wipe out the UK. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know what to say. We are now at war with the U.S., and I'm furious. They're extensive. What's up, meme? I might have to go to service by requirement. I bet. No. Wow. All right. Let me um. I'm gonna I'm gonna send some real troops back to the other fronts what the hell are these divisions man Bitch ass Japan. We're getting the south pushing towards Stalingrad. Great, now we've woken the sleeping giant. Wait, you didn't take Moscow? Not yet. Shut the fuck up. Don't worry, I'll go help. There's a river crossing and a fort, alright? Fucking acting like a goddamn Superman. You're fucking not. It's just numbers. I'm not breaking the lines around Moscow, you say? You will. Because that's common sense. But you act like there's no way in hell we'd exist without Spain. Oh, glorious Spain. The real Axis power. Oh, fuck. Shut the fuck up. Would have died already if it wasn't for Germany. I am a real Axis power. The only one who's more of a fascist than me is the Reich itself. 
Someone clip that. Fucking. At the war, we were all playing careful, and now we just fucking balls to the wall, gun it. Really? Really, really. Really, really, really. I mean, really, really, really. This guy that has been added. Oh, it's him. You got a lot of people watching you, JJ? Yeah, just seven. That's a lot though, I guess. Who watching you? My camera is broken Who as fuck, yo. Now? It's people. Supply, uh, man. Now I see these Polish troops are attacking the fort. They're like, <laughs> they're like, I'm not gonna let Spain come over here and do my damn job for me. You know what? I'm leaving. Fuck your border. That's what I like to see it fuck. You know what? Go fuck yourself. Throw I'm leaving. I'm not throwing men in it. I'm bringing them back. Fuck you. You're gonna encircle Moscow and you're gonna crush Stalin. He's gonna flee. Find them. Goodbye. And, and beat the shit out of them. Yeah. Exactly. No, no. Go suck your own dick. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Fall back line. Take that damn fort. Nope, I'm leaving. You take that yourself, you bastard. If I get over there, I'll take it, then take Moscow and get all the glory. Go ahead, man. I give up. I'm not going to put any effort if you're just going to keep talking shit about my efforts. I'm telling you, you're doing a good job. You're storming that fort. Like a true soldier. I don't take sarcasm. You have tanks too. Are those great war tanks? Oh, you're pulling out. You're actually all pulling out. Good job. Good job. Don't worry. I'll go over there. The Spaniards will wave the Spanish um, dong. Dong. Spanish dong. You're fucking stupid. There you go. You got the fort.
so many dead Spaniards. Yeah, enjoy your casualties, you fuck. Alright, so what do you want out of this peace treaty? You want Moscow? I don't care. Raj hasn't done it. Damn. If we have to deal with uh, have to deal with this the United States eventually. Oh yeah, you're the first one to go too. Oh, is that the US? Holy shit it is. Where? On your coastline. Oh no, that's fishy France. Or no 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 no, that's American subs. That's American subs. Oh, USS Dolphin? What the fuck? Chester. Well, tell you what, I'll I'll do you some some help. I'll send some divisions to help you. I'll give you the shittiest ones. Um. I have a bunch of. I have a whole army in Spain. So you don't want my help. Uh. We need to knock the Soviets out of this war. Oh, I don't know. I You made it very clear that you could do it yourself. So I'm going to just... Well, uh, you can construe it like that, I, I can see. Oh, oh really? I, I don't think you made any attempt to say that you did it, didn't do it by yourself. You didn't make any attempt to say that. Why is the Red Army fucking strategic bomber so damn far out here? What does Antioch mean? Antioch is a place. Antioch. Yes. Yeah, very holy site of Christendom. How much where you have the... Uh, I mean... Uh, JJ. How much what? Looks like the fronts are having some trouble for some reason. I don't know what it is. Where? 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 I don't know. The south. Uh, I don't know. A lot of sand standstill action, really. It's almost as if. Yeah, I might be having a bit of trouble. It's almost as if you can't do this all alone, oh. to Stalingrad. This is a 
one dangerous fight around Moscow. Yeah, you have fun with that, buddy. Once this cavalry recovers, I'm going to take it on the other side of the river and then punch a hole north of Moscow and deep into Soviet territory. Oh yeah, you do that. It'll allow for an encirclement, if that is what you so wish. Uh, fuel. I'm good on fuel. Hmm. I'm deficient. Forty thousand guns. Oh, I've been Need deficient. Trucks? Um, I don't know. I make. Yeah, I guess maybe. I'm gonna. I might start building APCs. Oh, that's what it is. Mechanized infantry. Oh, hold on. Mechanized could go up to eight. So what if I if I go to my light tank? They go up to twelve, just dead ass twelve. But if I change it to mechanized, I get increased attack and armor and piercing and all that shit, but it reduces it to eight. Double the speed of a fucking infantry. Nah. 
Maybe I'll make these guys mechanized. Duh. Maybe. Nah, I'm gonna. St I'll make APCs later. Very good hey, though. Yo, Japan, you mind sending me garrison support? Oh, I didn't even think of that. you're gonna take Moscow no Surround. I said I'm gonna pull back you said you said you were gonna take Moscow I said I could well I don't see it for some reason I don't know what it is you have the troops you still have the troops like oh, so troops. now I have troops. So now I have troops. Yeah, now you do. Well, you had them there. Oh, it's, it's suddenly. You're taking the fort. And, and you're about to do Poland proud. It was a race, and you just kind of gave up. Piece of shit. Where'd you move the troops? They're just Pull spread back out. To the Basically. Ah. Hmm. They're putting up a vicious defense. That must suck for the whoever is defending it. Now, now I need to worry about that. You don't want it to go below Romania's. Be in the pick before then. I doubt that they could get that far beforehand, but sure, I'll do something about it. Hold on. Greater Finland. Ah, oh, shit. There it is. That's what I like to see. Now the Soviets, they're in true hell. Yes, that's single Finnish division. It will take two, three key cities. Starting now. Well, they're, the Soviets are surrounded, so they have to either move to get unsurrounded or stay encircled. That was right, though. What they do, they're gonna lose a lot of land, and it's gonna let us push. Oh, they're gonna provide a lot of guns. Oh, thank goodness. These forty-one thousand guns are efficient, really. Really not calling my name. All right, it's time for me to break the Soviet Union's back.
making 240 guns a day, and I just keep getting more deficient in guns. Doesn't make sense. Logistics. Let me look at my guns. All right, Spaniards. We're gonna push as one cohesive unit. Yeah, you do that. This whole time I haven't been playing music, my dumb ass. Oh, this shit is in your country. I'm increasing the infrastructure in your country, gangster. So you better become stronger for the both nice. of us. Thank you so much. All my shit is broken. I could tell, except for the stuff that you started with. See how I'm encircling Moscow? They're doomed. No. <laughs> What's up, Hunzer? It won't be able to last. 
I bet. Can I join or only you guys? Um, gangster, what do you think? Just Oh shit. I guess so. Maybe. Gangster, there's someone in my chat. He wants to join. Sure. Sure, why not? Fuck it. Um hot join on. It is. Uh the name of it is this. It's very easy, very simple. Definitely recognize it. Hard to miss. Thicky dumpy flexums. Mods? There are no mods. We have it on Game Pass. No workshop. Why is... Oh, I thought that was Japan for a second. That's my flag. <laughs> Shit. Germany send those infantry to build line. Oh, suddenly you you need more men. Oh, oh, but the, the shit talking Spanish, they could take them on by themselves. Oh, I yeah. thought so. Yeah, I don't have the uh the men in this sector of the line. Oh, really? So you're yeah. saying that those Polish men at Moscow could have helped a lot. I thought you're going to take Moscow. I thought you were. You you said you were. So I said, okay, he has it, and I left. <laughs> All I wanted to do. These are the consequences of your actions, I don't know. It's like, uh, this is why Italy switched sides in World War Two and one. Didn't appreciate your allies. Fuck this song, I'm skipping it. All you had to do was push that door and you would have took Moscow. Uh, yeah, well, I decided not didn't to. feel like it. Yeah, I decided not to because uh, you made me decide against it. Enjoy your millions of dead Spaniards in fucking Eastern Europe. Really? We're so fucked. If we don't knock out Soviet Union, we're fucked. There we go. Get some German troops in there. Yay. All right, let's see. Yeah, it looks 
like those uh those rebels are doing a lot. What rebels? The coup. What coup? You you're cooing someone? The coup in Finland. That wasn't a coup. He capitulated Finland and put in a puppet government. Oh. Sweden, you fucker. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? If you got the spare guns, I suggest you coup, coup Denmark. That's a good coup. Hungary's another one. Those bastards are heavily fascist. I'll start the coup. Fuck it. You'll start the what? I'm gonna start cooing Hungary. <laughs> Moscow has a level 4 fort. I think you're gonna have to encircle it. Plan. It's your only you know, plan. You can have the honors of taking Moscow. It's right on your border. Everything's on my border. Everything Russia's on my border. <laughs> no, Thanks I'll take Stalingrad. Good. You there use your magical you know Spaniard uh, cavalry to encircle them, King. like you always do. King? Because you totally don't need Poland up there in the center to help you with Moscow. So you think of Trump is here? This is true, yes. That's your service team. Organization so ass. Can't but find it. JJ salty, and so he's called to help on the war, the the war effort. Oh, I don't know. I think it was, fine. I think it was very, very, very uh, understandable. This is what the server should be called: Dicky Dumpy Flexums. Hundred one's on, right? Or did you turn it off? I'm 100% sure. Hot join is on. Pretty sure it's should be at least. Foria was having trouble joining earlier. What was it, the thing you said that I, I think I don't understand consequences? What? What? Alright, let's see. Dicky Ducky it's Flexio. It's a little bit too late for you to throw the campaign. Oh, why I Romania wants to send me expeditionary forces. I'll take them. No fucking way.
these unassigned divisions that I now have to assign. Wait, what? Poland? Poland's taking Moscow? Man, easy. Time. Did you find it or not, Hanzer? Oh, a gangster. Check if you could. Oh, fuck. Not working. Dude's gonna join in as, as the states and roll us. Yeah. Only hope is him as Japan or some shit. I don't know. Was... Actually, I don't know. A lot of players as the Axis, we might win. I mean, look at us. We're doing what Germany failed to do. Take out Russia. Slowly but surely. We haven't failed to take out Russia. That's what, oh uh, you know what, never mind. You have the server ID. Pause it. Or actually, I can pause it. Hold on. I'm going to be right back. Holy shit, he's right. Flexi what? Dumpy Fixums or whatever the f I, whatever the fuck it's called. It's not there. Your server ain't there. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I'm I'm done. I'm done. That's enough parts of iron. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we played for ten hours. I'm sorry, Hunter. We're getting off. I'm getting off. We're done, Zos. Fucking done. And throw your Discord in there. Get them in. No. Oh, yeah. Send them the, uh, the link. Here, I'm going to get a raid ready for Jack YL. That's the link to the Discord that we're talking in. Well, Whoops. That's, uh, uh, that's the wrong you person. You want to Uh, Hunter. No, no. All right, I'm going to... Raid my friend of mine. He's American, but lives in the Philippines. So he's a fucking weirdo, right? But he lives in the shitty country because it's cheap to live in, you know? But it's not that shitty, so it's okay. Is the raid working or not? Hold on. I, I see something, but like... There it is. Hunzer. Yes, we are getting off. So I'm afraid not, but we're getting off. I'm going to raid my friend now. We're going. We're going to fuck him up. Let's go. Load him in so I can get his reaction. I guess we can just spend this time. Here, let me let me get him a let me give me Yamate go to Sai. Putting shit away. What's up, JJ? Thanks for the raid, man. How you been? Got him. Got him. Got him like a pro Jack gamer. Jack your L. I'll jack your L all day. For free too. Won't even charge you the usual bone rate. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alright, that kills me every time. Alright, enough of this. Goodbye.